Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome back to Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. You know, I'm just kind of looking out the window and there's a skip of snow on the ground. It's like minus five and all that. Really cold, so I decided to make up some pork dumpling soup. Pretty simple and easy, so aromatic and so good. You are gonna love it, so let me show you how to do this. Okay, first up guys, I'm gonna throw about a pound of ground pork into a bowl, followed by a fairly large chopped up carrot which I did in the food processor to make life a whole lot easier. A couple of chopped up green onions. Of course, you can use regular onions too. I just like the green onions. Two cloves of minced garlic. Add more if you like it really garlicky. A couple of tablespoons of cornstarch, which binds everything together. About a tablespoon of the old soy sauce. A dash of white pepper. And just remember, white pepper is fairly strong. And last but not least, about half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Now we'll just go ahead and give it the old mix a rooney together. And once again, guys, this is kind of my, you know, idea for the concoction here, but you can add whatever you like, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But uh, this is going to turn out pretty good, I think, anyway. And in my humble opinion, yes, indeedy, this is coming out fairly nicely. Next up, we're going to grab up a wonton wrapper and place it on a flat surface. Get some water on your finger and just go around the exterior of the wonton wrapper so it's wet on all edges. Grab up about a teaspoon of that mixture and place it into the center of the wonton wrapper. Then snag up one edge and fold it over top of the mixture and just kind of push down with your fingers and seal it shut and go right around the mixture. And what I mean is push it in so that mixture is fairly visible in the wonton wrapper. You see what I'm talking about here. Then grab up each edge, a little bit of water on there, and just kind of fold the entire wrapper towards the center. Okay, this is starting to look pretty good, something like this. And then just kind of pinch the end shut so it looks something like a bell. You know, something like this. This is looking pretty darn good to me. This is just my way of doing it anyway. And see kind of that bell ding-dong shape? It looks kind of cute to me. And just set these aside on a plate and continue making the rest of our dumplings. This can take you a while, but yeah, to me it's worth it. And you know guys, the great thing is if you can freeze these up and if you get a hankering or a cravings for some wonton or wrappers, you can pull them out, put them in a soup or have them at is is, whatever you want. So they make a little great snack to pull out of the freezer too. Next up, we're gonna make up our aromatic, starting with some peppercorn, a cinnamon nin nin stick, three cloves, two cloves of garlic actually, some onion, and some sliced ginger, and a star anise. So Weez is gonna dump this into a frying pan over high heat, it's good and hot. And we're just gonna let these sear up guys and, and, uh, and heat over high heat until they become really aromatic and I can just smell it starting now. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be so good. You know, of course you want to give them a shake and kind of flip and flop them around. And see how they're beginning to sear here? <laughs> oh my goodness, I wish we had smell of vision This smells absolutely incredible. Of course, that piece of ginger is just not cooperating. Come on there. There we go. And believe me, guys, this is going to add so, so much flavor to that soup. Now you guessed it, into a large size pot with those aromatics. Followed by four cups of beef stock. You can use vegetable or chicken too. And depending on how soupy you want it, you know, you can add more stock. In with those neat, cool little dumplings that we worked so hard to make up. And I'm just sticking them in one by one here, guys, just to look all professional-like. And I don't know, so they distribute evenly, I guess. And you know what, an afterthought, I'm gonna stick in a few julienne carrots here just for some extra flavor and aesthetics, I guess. Now snag up some bok choy and we're just gonna kinda go in with that bok choy, place it around the edges if you can, cause it, you know, it's gotta wilt down and, and cook for a bit. And we shall just bring this to a good rolling boil. Now we'll just reduce the heat to medium and let this simmer away for about 15 minutes until those dumplings begin to float. But just look at this, doesn't this look absolutely incredible? Oh, and it smells so good. And of course, you guessed it, we're going to grab up the ladle and throw this into a bowl and it is going to be soup time, guys. And don't forget to get lots of that broth and all of that extra stuff if you can. Even the aromatics like the ginger and the garlic and stuff, you don't have to eat them, but I mean, they're good just sitting there and for the flavor in the soup. 
Of course, we're going to garnish up with a few more green onions just to make it all pretty and a little bit of extra flavor. And there you have it, guys, our incredible aromatic, oh, how many adjectives can I add, dumpling soup. I mean, it does not get any better on a cold or cool day. And just look at this, guys. Does this ever look good? Piping hot. And I just love those dumplings. I think they're going to be so, so good. And the smell, oh, the smell is just absolutely incredible. You know, that cinnamon and, and the onions and the, the pepper and everything else in there. Oh, yum. All right, let's give this a taste and see what she says. We've got to get a dumpling here, maybe a little bit of bok choy and, you know, the, the rest of the trimmings. Mmm. Guys, those dumplings are just absolutely incredible. Mm, I just love them. And the soup, the soup, all those aromatic flavors in there. You simply have to make this. This is so good. And I got more dumplings in the freezer that I can have again later. Mm. Go ahead and make this up. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And most of all, give us a like. It does help the channel out and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm. And I gotta have more of this soup. This is incredible. Mm, so good.